Okay, next problem. An engineer wishes to purchase an 80,000 pesos home by making a down payment of 20,000 pesos and borrowing the remaining which he will repay monthly over the next 30 years. If the bank charges interest at the rate of 9.5% per year compounded monthly, how much money must the engineer repay each month? Okay, so ang idea, kung ito yung present natin, no, yung present, magbabayad na siya ngayon ng 20K. So meron pa siyang utang na 60K. Okay? So yung utang na yan, babayaran niya ng monthly. No? Kung baga, babayaran niya. Ayan, hanggang, ka, hanggang 30 years. Okay? Hanggang sa makompleto niya yun, no? yung 60K na yun. Alright? So, ibig sabihin, annuity. Ito, tawag na ito, A. So, yun yung amortization natin. Ang idea lang, kailangan yung total dito na annuity, no? F, ay equal din sa future worth no 60K. Ba't parehas yan? Okay, ganun na kasimple. So, well, as you can see, paano ba malalaman yung future worth nitong 60K? Ano lang yan? Compound interest. Di ba? Okay, tapos yung, eto naman, magiging yung formula ng annuity. Ayan, kasi ano yan eh, no? monthly payment. Alright, so equate lang natin yung dalawa. So we have uh, 60K, 60 ko na lang ha. 1 plus, okay, so ano yung interest rate? So ang interest rate ay 9.5% per year compounded monthly. So, 0.095 divided by 12 raised to ilang years? 30 years, no? So, 30 years times, kasi monthly, so times 12. So, ito yan, no? Ito yan. Okay, equals, ito naman, yung A times 1 plus, ganun ulit, 0 0.095 over 12 raised to 30 years times 12 minus 1 over 0 0.09 of uh, 0 0.095 over 12. Okay? And from here, so again, ito naman yun. No? Ito. Ito naman yun. Okay? So therefore, this would be, we will be able to calculate for A. <clears throat> so 60K ito. 60K times 1 plus 0 0.095 over 12 raised to 30 times 12. Okay, tapos cross multiply natin itong 0 0.095 over 12. Tapos ano pa? Tapos divide natin itong ano. Ito nasa numerator. 1 plus 0 0.095 over 12 raised to 30 times 12 minus 1. Okay, and that gives us 504.51 pesos. So, meron lang ano, discrepancy kasi inexact ko yung sagot eh, or yung computation. Okay, and that gives us letter B. So, that's how you solve this problem. Thank you.